Hey everyone, my name is John Savile and welcome to my AZ900 Azure Fundamentals Get Certified with John Savile course. This is all around the Azure Fundamentals Microsoft certification, which we get after passing the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. This certification shows a basic understanding of cloud services and specifically how they are provided with Microsoft Azure. I've been working with technology for over 25 years and creating materials to help people learn. I started out with an NT FAQ website over 25 years ago. Then I started writing magazine articles. I've written nine books. I started to create a lot of paid training content. And then I created my YouTube channel over at onboardtoazure.com where I have a huge amount of free content um, that has no advertising. It's just there to help people learn. And that channel is all focused around me using a digital whiteboard and demonstrating the technologies, which is exactly what we're gonna do for this course. I'm not gonna have a bunch of slides. We're gonna go through the material building out together on the digital canvas and actually seeing these things in action. That's really what I'm known for. You can follow me on Twitter at NTFAQGuy. And again, head over to my YouTube channel for more content at onboardtoazure.com. So let's talk a little bit more detail about what we're gonna cover. This is a foundational exam. This means this is a great certification to study for if you're just starting out. I'm learning the cloud for the first time and I wanna be able to demonstrate that core knowledge. Now we need to understand the big picture, what the key capabilities are, what are some of the key considerations without actually having to know the details, without even really having to know how to do particular functions. It's also a great first step towards other certifications as part of your overall learning journey. If we go and look at the Microsoft site, we can go and see, well, hey, we have this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals exam, which is what we are obviously gonna focus on in this course. But if we go and look at the actual Get Certified plan, we see there's a whole bunch of different courses. And if we look here at the various Azure Fundamentals options, here we can see this AZ900 Azure Fundamentals. But there are others. There's ones about artificial intelligence and ones about data as well. And then we can build up to some of the other ones. There are speciality certifications. There are ones like the Azure Administrator Associate Certification, Developer Associate. And then we can even go and look at things like, well, there are expert certifications like the Architect Expert and even DevOps Engineer Expert. But this is a fantastic first step on that overall journey. Now we can take this exam at, for example, a testing center that will vary based on your geography. I can also take it at home. Now if I take it at home, I need to make sure I have a nice clear area with just my computer on it with a single screen. We're gonna have to take a picture of ourselves, of our government issued ID front and back, and then left view, right view, front view, and back view, really to prove there's just gonna be no distractions while we're taking this exam. Now, in terms of the structure of this course, I'm gonna follow how the skills are measured by the exam. If we jump back over and actually look at the Azure site, we can see, well, we have this breakdown of the skills measured. And what we can see here is there's various high level study areas like describe cloud concepts, describe core Azure services, and those core solutions, management tools, general security, a whole bunch of different things. And we can see the detail via this download exam skills outline. And if we look at that, this is how we are gonna structure the course. So if we look at the first as an example, we can see, well, the study area is describe cloud concepts, which is 20 to 25% of the exam. Then there's a particular skill measured. In this case, identify the benefits and considerations of using cloud services. 
and there are various different skills assessed as part of that skill measurement. So I will be breaking this course down, really following those. So if you are going and looking at that site and you're tracking those things, we're gonna have the lessons mapping to that very precisely. Sometimes I'll merge them together, sometimes I might break them out, whatever really is best for the learning experience, but we're gonna overall follow that pattern. In terms of resources to supplement this course, I really would recommend definitely going and looking at this document. You wanna be able to tick off, yes, I feel confident with each of those different skills that are assessed. We can see there's a whole number of these. Back on the main AZ900 page, it talks about the overview of the exam. It talks about how you can schedule it with the various different providers, again, based on your location. But then I would also highly recommend taking this free online set of learning. It's gonna cover a lot of the same concepts we cover in this course, but it might have a few little labs you can go and try out. And I would always recommend, if you can, getting as many different types of information as possible just to really improve your overall chance. Go and get a free subscription. So we can go over to azure.microsoft.com slash free. You can go and sign up for a free account. You get an amount of credit to spend in your first 30 days. You want to be super efficient with that and deprovision things when we're not using it. Then there are other services we get for maybe a year. Some we get forever for free. So there's different amounts of service we get. But definitely go and get this. You can go and get a little bit of hands-on actual learning. I do have my little learn.onboard to azure.com site. This is all content from my YouTube channel, but I just give some different detail and links to all these different types of materials I'm talking about. So you can go and get some additional information. I talk through much more deeper learning and other things you could go and do much, much further down the line. Again, there's zero advertising on any of that. That's all really just there to help you learn. So this is the goal. Our goal is, hey, we are gonna go through all of the key areas. We're gonna build this out on the board to really help us understand and learn it. I'm gonna show you demonstrations of these things in actions where it makes sense, but get you that knowledge to ensure you can succeed. So that's the overview. Now let's get on with the learning.